In this video I'm going to talk about how you can use control painting to affect the density of your UVs. But I'm just going to go ahead and redo the entire demo head from scratch because it'll be a good review. So first thing first, I'm going to click work on clone. We get a clone of our model. I'll click on wrap. Click flatten. And we can see the UVs unwrapped and flattened out. Unflatten. I'm going to enable control painting and I'm going to click protect and I'm going to tell UV Master that I do not want seams generally in this area of the model. And I'd like to suggest by clicking attract that I would like seams generally in this area of the model. Again, not drawing exact seams here, just general areas of suggestion. Now that I've done that control painting, I'll simply click unwrap again, click flatten, and that to me is a very good unwrap of our model. So now what we want to do is affect the density of specific areas. There might be regions that you would like more texture space and less texture space. So let's go ahead and drop this model to canvas. So what I'll do is I'll just keep it up here in the left hand corner and I'm going to press shift S. And what that'll do is just simply drop that to two and a half D space. I'll click unflatten so we can see that in the background there. And you'll notice with enable control painting pressed that you have this button here that says density. So I'm going to click density to activate that. And once I press density, you'll notice that you have a button here with the letter X. This is times. This is a toggle switch between times and divide. And then we have a slider to the right hand side of that. So essentially what we're going to be doing here is either multiplying the density to an area or we'll click the toggle and divide the density from an area. And then of course the slider will affect the amount. Now, without having to worry about this toggle switch and the slider, you have some pre-built configurations down below that. So you can see divide by 4, divide by 3, divide by 2, 1, which will essentially work as our eraser, as you'll see in a moment, times 2, times 3, and times 4. So for instance, let's say we want 4 times the density around this eye region right here. Well, I'll simply click Enable Control Painting, press the Density button, and then press times 4. I'll then paint the area of my model that I'd like a little bit more density. Again, as I mentioned before, after each one of the edits that you do, you're going to have to press unwrap. Only takes a second. Now that that's unwrapped, I'll click flatten so we can take a look at our UVs. So you can see we've added quite a bit of density to that eye area. So I'll bring that up here in the corner. I'll hit shift S to drop that. and then I'll unflatten, bring our demo head back. Now as I mentioned we can use the number one essentially as our eraser so again I will click density and you're gonna see that's gonna bring up that density map that I already placed down on the model. I can press the number one and then I can kind of erase that off the model. So now I'll go ahead and divide the density by three by simply clicking divide three default right here you'll see that that will adjust our toggle switch and our slider automatically and then I'll just paint in that region that I want to take density away from and then again we'll press unwrap once that's done we'll press flatten and you can see that the density has now been divided in that region